Hi guys, welcome to another Holy 4 video. In today's video we're gonna play Hungary. Kingdom of Hungary. Which doesn't have a king. So, regular difficulty, historical focus is on, and I'm in mode off. And let's start. Let's go. I'm gonna delete my cavalry divisions. Actually, I'm just going to keep 6 of my divisions in the army, the rest will be disbanded. And let's exercise them. First focus I'm gonna pick is balanced budget. Why am I doing this? Eh, you'll see. You might think that this is the right path going economic intervention, but trust me, balanced budget is better. I'm gonna build one sieve in Alfeld, and let's produce one factory of guns and five factories of cas. And I'll be importing some rubber from Siam. As for the research, I'm gonna go for basic machine tools, construction one, and electronic mechanical engineering. The typical. And I think we can start. The reason why I'm building a sieve and not a mill is because we have the Treaty of Trion. Recruitable population minus 0.5% and also military factory construction speed minus 50%. This is painful. We want to get rid of this. And after balanced budget, we're gonna go for strengthen the monarchists. Let's hire sound workers. We need that political power. Let's go for mechanical computing. Strengthen the monarchists is finished and let's elect a king. Let's use our dispersed industry one. We got 150 pp. I'm gonna hire a fascist demagogue. Let's do anti-democratic raids, and let's go for improved machine tools. Construction 2 is nice, but we're building only one sieve, and look at all our production. So improved machine tools are more important. And Spanish Civil War just started. They finished elect a king. I obviously want to go for democratic king. You might think that I'm going to go for fascist king, which is reasonable thinking, but to be honest, I get coarse on most of Transylvania, Southern Slovakia, and Vojvodina, basically. So let's go for the best option. Invite the Habsburg Prince. Not only will I get cores and tons of stuff later, but I also get plus 20 political power gain if I finish this focus. And let's hire armor specialist, we need a little bit of farm experience, so why not? And this focus is about to finish, which means bye bye Horty, hello Otto von Habsburg. And now we can either demand a referendum with Austria or take Austria by force. I'm gonna take Austria by force. Why? Well, doing this focus does give me Austria for free and also their field marshal, but Doing this focus gets me rid of this painful national spirit, which uh, gets removed if we are at war. So let's take Austria by force. I'm gonna put my entire army on Austrian border, stop exercising them. I'm also going to move all of my planes to the airport near Balaton Lake, and let's add all the cas that we produced in the meantime. I'm just gonna exercise my cas. Let's do some more anti-democratic raids, and let's also improve workers' conditions. After mechanical computing, I'm gonna go for radio, now let's also go for this person industry too. Oh yes, fascist assault divisions form. This is great. Why? We have only 0.5% of the population, and now we're gonna have 0.7. And take Austria by force is finished. Let's declare war on Austria. And instantly let's do war propaganda against Austria. I obviously can't do restoration of Austria-Hungary yet, so let's go for industrial revitalization. Let's make sure that our planes are supporting war bullies. As you see now, Treaty of Trion is no longer there which means to be able to have 1.2% recruitable population now. Let's give my guys a general and field marshal. They should be able to hold this. You know what I could do? Mm, let's do it. I'm gonna fall back my divisions slowly. And watch this. I managed to fall back. Now all of their guys are here. And they're stuck. I'm gonna force attack them with my two divisions, while these other four are gonna encircle them. My genius is often frightening. Just kidding. And just like that, we encircled six Austrian divisions. Improved machine tools are done, I'm gonna go for construction two. And that's it, look at this destruction. They got 47,000 casualties, we got 4.1 thousands. I got enough manpower, so I'm gonna train other six divisions. They don't have guns for now, but they're gonna have it later. And now I'm gonna destroy the rest of their divisions. But I want to do one thing in Austria. I want to have control of Lower Austria, Upper Austria and Tyrol, but not to capitulate Austria. How am I going to do that? I'm going to ignore unnecessary victory points like Graz. So let's take Vienna first. And finally Vienna has fallen. Now let's deploy these six divisions. Now we got 12 divisions. Let's build one more sieve here. Alright, I want to make sure that I control Upper Austria and Tyrol as well. I already control Lower Austria, so I'm gonna need Salzburg and Wels, and also Innsbruck, so let's go for those cities. Where do you think you're going? 
industrial revitalization is finished i'm not going to do any focuses for now and we now have control of opera austria as well we still need tyrol let's produce more guns for now innsbruck has fallen which means i control this state this state and this state and guess what even though austria hasn't capitulated i can do restoration of austria hungary so let's do that why am I doing this? You'll see in a moment. I must make sure I don't capitulate them. And the last division is destroyed. Let's check the casualties one more time. They got 73 thousands, we got 4.9 thousands. We got lots of political power, so let's open up political discourse and let's discredit the government. We now have 52% fascist support, and guess who's back? Horty Miklos is back. Sadly, we did lose Habsburg Restored, which means we're not gonna get any political power, but... Now we can go for State Service and once to get another free army experience, which kind of counters that. Radio is researched. I'm gonna go for support weapons 1. And we're about to finish this focus, which will give us core in Austria and entire Czechoslovakia. And now look at this. We switch colors. We are now white, and Hungary is now... I mean, Austria is now Hungary's color. So what we can do now is wait for one day to pass, and let's take their victory points and finally capitulate them. Now, why did I do this? First things first, I'm going to lose less factories in the peace deal, because these are my course now, and I'm not going to lose building slots, and I'm not going to lose factories. Second reason, I'm going to cause way less war tension. As you can see, only 0.6%. This will be in 2.1 if these were not my course. So let's end the turn, and let's click done. Next focus I'm going to pick is reintegrated railroads. And let's go for state service the military. I'm going to produce even more guns. Let's rush this person to free with the research bonus. And let's switch to volunteer only. We want more manpower. I'm also going to train more divisions. And let's improve our artillery. Also, we should start production of artillery. One factory will be good enough for now. This focus is finished, and let's go for support domestic industry. Let's build SIFs in our highest infrastructure states. And limited conscription it is. My new divisions are barely armed, but it's important that I have manpower. Let's get trucks. After supporting domestic industry, I'm going to go for support organization. I have to deploy these divisions as soon as they're ready. And let's improve infantry equipment. And finally, let's switch to our economy. And after support organization focus, I'm going to go for protect Czechoslovakia. Yes, extra resource slot is pretty nice, but we can get it later. It's not that important. Czechoslovakia is way more important than that. I'll keep deploying these barely equipped divisions. By the way, check this out. We haven't generated any war tension despite the fact we annexed whole country. And let's improve relations with Czechoslovakia. So let's at least make them have neutral opinion of us. My goal is to make them annexed or at least our puppet. And I'll be scaring them with my giant unarmed army. And by also joining the Axis. And here we go, we have 48 divisions out of which only one quarter is fully armed. Also, I'll be editing this template. I'm going to be removing a recon company and I'll be making it my default garrison template. And Protect Czechoslovakia is finished. Bohemia agrees to close relationship. Read this carefully. Czechoslovakia becomes Dominion of Austria Hungary. Now, being Dominion is pretty crap, but since we're fascists, they're not actually going to be our Dominion. They're actually our Rice Commissariat. Which means we get 65% of their military industry and 25% of their civilian industry. However, our industry doesn't increase because there's a bug. So I'll have to go to the menu and then load back. I loaded back the game and I believe I had 38 factories, now I have 50. Most of these are military factories, so let's produce more guns, a little bit more of artillery and then later more CAS. And now I can import steel from my puppet Czechoslovakia or Bohemian Empire. I'm gonna claim Transylvania. This is going to be very fun focus. They got 26 divisions, which is pretty nice. And another thing, I can click closer ties to Bohemian Empire. This will lower their autonomy at cost of 75 political power. National victory in Spanish Civil War. That was unexpected. And I got myself a truck. So let's produce mm, two factories of trucks. Now let's get support weapons too. This person is free researched. Let's go for advanced machine tools. It's a computing machine. Look at this beauty. We got almost 700 planes at the moment. So let's put my army into two. First arm will go to Yugoslavian border, the second army will go to Romanian border. Or well, to our border with Romania and Yugoslavia. And let's switch to extensive description since we're running out of manpower. And claim Transylvania is about to be finished. Most of the times Romania is gonna say no. We won't go for the first option because it's very stupid. And to, to be honest, R Romania, for not giving up third of its country, which is its core, clearly went too far this time. Also, check this out. We get war preparations. 
which gives us just for wargold time minus 50% planning speed plus 20% and also generate war tension a wargold tension limit minus 50%, which means we can justify quickly on the countries. But let's not do that for now. Now we can choose a mediator. I will choose Germany. Choosing Britain and France is mm, terrible. Choosing Italy is okay, and Germany is my ally, and they're gonna back me up most likely. So let's choose Germany. I'm supposed to get at least North Transylvania or, if possible, entire Transylvania. The Transylvanian Compromise. We can get North Transylvania. We didn't get the best option ever, but that's alright. Keep in mind, we lose War Preparations National Spirit, so let's use it up before we lose it. I'm gonna start justifying against Yugoslavia, which just happens to be guaranteed by Romania for some reason. Hmm, I wonder why I'm justifying against them. Since we had almost no war tension at all, we now generated only 9.2%. It's not red, which means allies don't care. They're not gonna guarantee Yugoslavia. So let's get to our North Transylvania. Now we can finally do Institute for Industrial Techniques. Oh no, German Reich is just against us. Treaty of Kragova happened, which means Southern Dobrja was given to Bulgaria. This I'll be going to war. I'm gonna be improving my airport in Transdanubia. Now let's do closer ties to the Bohemian Empire again. German Reich demands Sudetenland. We're not gonna give them Sudetenland. Why? Well, they're gonna kick us out of faction, but don't worry. As you can see, they just kicked us out, but they invite us back in, so I have to make sure I join back or else they're gonna declare war on us. I don't know why does this happen, but it happens for some reason. And the Institute for Industrial Techniques is finished. I'm gonna go for Announce the Cure program, and let's research Construction 3. I'll be asking Czechoslovakia for its divisions, and let's we'll send them to Romania. Let's get new guns. And justification for Yugoslavia is finished. I'm gonna declare war on them, and now they're gonna call in Romania, obviously. And I'm gonna go for war propaganda against Romania. My first goal is to crush Yugoslavia as fast as I can. And we're pushing to Yugoslavia pretty nicely. And let's give these guys trucks. And finally, we have coast. Yay! After this program, we're gonna go for domestic arms industry. We got lots of civilian factories. And these bonuses are pretty nice, but they take forever to get the extra resources. So I'm gonna go, go for domestic arms industry instead. Let's go for air crew surveys. I'm gonna rush you with Slavian victory points. Let's check the casualties. And we got 28,000, they got 106,000. I think once you take any victory point, they're gonna capitulate. Oh no. They're gonna capitulate, but look at this encirclement I could have destroyed. Damn it. Well, that's destroyed you with I'm gonna take all states, obviously. Now I'll have to focus in Romania. My goal is to take Timisoara, Arad, and Brasov as soon as I can. That's one out of three, two out of three, and let's only take Brasov. You know what, let's send the entire Czechoslovakian army into Brasov. And as you can see, with massive numbers, force attack and cast support, they're just pushing out Romanians. And we took Brasov, which means I can now reintegrate the empire. Which gives me course on a bunch of stuff in Yugoslavia and entire Transylvania, and also on Istria, Zara, and South Tyrol. Which means I can now justify against Italy, retake our state, Zara, and let's go. It takes only 100 days. Now I can finally push into Romania. And I got my first naval dockyard. Motor river truck just happened, and I managed to make this giant encirclement in southwestern Romania. Let's destroy it. And let's rush this person into tree 4. Also, let's get formation flying. And after domestic arms industry, I'm gonna go for Aeronautic Technology Institute. And this is just beautiful to watch. Let's check the casualties before and after. They got 111,000 now. And they got 205,000 now. Let's make one final push and take out Romania. Now let's get dive bombing. And Romania is taken out. I'm gonna take all of the states except for Bukovina, Bessarabia, and South Bessarabia. They can exist there. Soviet Union will annex them eventually. Let's research new artillery. And now it's time to fight the big boy. Well, not yet, but soon enough. I'm gonna take the entire Czechoslovakian army and let's send it here, as well as the second army. Well, the first army will have a fallback line around Zara. You know what I'm gonna do. And I know what I'm gonna do. And let's also do closer ties to the Bohemian Empire and let's improve workers' conditions. And we got our fifth research slot. Let's boost Hungarian aviation industry and let's get anti-air. Also, I think it's time to edit this template finally. It's only 12 width infantry template with nothing. Let's make it at least 16 width and let's give it to one support artillery. And let's make it 20 width actually. And justification is finished. I'm gonna declare war right away. Why? Well, because around this time Italy joins the Axis. We don't want that to happen. And now the gaming begins. As usual, we destroy their divisions in Zara and repeat the process over and over again. They made a naval invasion, but that's just one division. That's got destroyed now. And another one. 
Let's go for construction 4. Let's improve the guns and let's produce new guns. And another one. I just have to make sure that I don't take the Zara itself. We shall not sign their Faustian bargain. Sorry, Turkey. And let's go for total mobilization. Oh look, funny number of stability. And now I'm gonna improve my infrastructure in some states. And I'm going to build mills here later. Let's check the casualties real quick. They got 266 thousands and we have 949 casualties. This is just insane. We have less than a thousand casualties, so our KD ratio is pretty much 280 or something. Alright, I think this is good enough. Italy has about 50 divisions, I think we can push them out. Let's improve the airport in Tyrol and let's deploy cast planes. I'll try to circle some Italian divisions. Poland refused German ultimatum. Now this happened in April because Germany didn't do Anschluss and they didn't do fate of Czechoslovakia, so World War II happens earlier. Let's research better artillery and let's start production of better artillery. Italy annexed Albania, so I must secure Albania. I'm gonna send half of my army there. I could now throw it to the two places. And this is gonna be another six Italian divisions. And another three here. Boosted Hungarian aviation industry. Let's go for naval warfare because we got our coast. It's kind of meme. -y. Now let's finally push Italy out of Albania. Closer ties to the Bohemian Empire. And we finally took Venice. And this is gonna be a really nice encirclement. Nine divisions in total. Germany is barely pushing into Poland. And that's destroyed. Now let's just push into Italy. Let's go for direct run support. Can I do this? Please. No, I can't. That would have been an amazing encirclement. Maybe I can do this one though. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay, this is beautiful. And let's finally take Zara. And we took all of our core states. Now let's move this entire army here and they will do a spearhead order into Taranto. Fall of Warsaw. Good job, Germany. Another nice encirclement right here. Well, Italy has just about 10 more divisions. Rome has fallen. Italy pursues closer bonds with Germany. Yeah, sure, buddy. Let's go for superior firepower. Naples has fallen, which means one more major city, and they're destroyed. Naval warfare is finished. Let's go for restoration, I guess. And finally, let's rush into Toronto, the largest city in Canada. And I think this is it. One more province. I've taken them out. I'm gonna take South Tyrol, Istria, Zara, Albania, and I would take Veneto as well, but they have lots of steel there, so let them have their steel. Also, I'll be taking their colonies in North Africa, and also in East Africa, and Dodokaneza as well. Let's puppet them in the rest of the land. And this is the crippled Italy. Why did I let them have Venice? Well, they have tons of steel there. Now look at this, I can buy lots of steel from them. And now look at this, we've got 141 factories, compared to Germany, they have 154, they have like 15 factories more than us. And there's only one thing that's left to do, and that's to annex Czechoslovakia. Let's do that, I'm gonna cancel my focus. I just cancel my focus, and I'm just gonna produce more guns, I guess. And let's do closer ties to the Bohemian Empire for the last time. Now all I need is to have 300 political power and I can annex them. And finally we got 300 political power, which means I can now annex Bohemian Empire. And I got 167 factories. Compared to German 175, we can say that we are as powerful as Germany. And this is still September 1939, we can join the German war, we can destroy the Allies with them, or we can betray Germany and attack them instead. Whatever we do, we're gonna be successful. We can even go after the Soviet Union, but I don't see the point of doing that. So I guess this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, like, share and subscribe. If you didn't, well then, what can I do? And yeah, that's it. See you in the next video. Bye.